good morning my dear students today we are going to see new topic structural organization of animals unit 13 structural organization of animals the variety in nature and habits of animals in the biosphere are quite amazing and interesting isn't it what's biosphere wherever life is possible is what we say it as biosphere what we see around us may just be few but there are innumerable species living in this world that's what diversity in animals we say diversity in animals that is varieties of animals innumerable animals are present in this world there accounts a great variety in habit as well as habitat structural organization and mode of reproduction between the animals existing on the earth habit is what the appearance or the structure how the animal is and how it is habitat where they live where the animals live that's home for the animal is what we say it is habitat structural organization means the arrangement of the organs in an organism that is it may be a cell tissue organ organ system or organism this is, a, this is how the uh, animals are organized certain kind of arrangement for example you can see the sponge in this picture uh, that is uh, having only cell likewise nearby hydra you can say this is arranged only with the help of tissue it is not having any organ or organ system it's just made up of tissue but in the right side you can see elephant uh, yes giraffe many animals are there isn't it they are all made up of organs with organs well specialized organ system that's why you have to make up an organism so different kind of animals are there so animal starting from unicellular ending up with the bigger organism that is if you um, see about the organization of the animals there are innumerable number of varieties present and also uh, under aspect reproduction also comes reproduction is what producing the offspring producing the young one of the same kind so uh, it may be of both the ways sexual as well as asexual reproduction two types are there in the reproduction that is sexual and asexual so uh, these are all coming under the aspects of the organisms okay so in this world there are varieties of organisms uh, let us see about specially two kind of organisms in this lesson okay so if you consider um, you have learnt uh, about this animal kingdom in the lower classes isn't it so let us recall uh, that kingdom animalia is divided into two types that is two groups one is invertebrate and other one is vertebrate invertebrate or vertebrate vertebrate is otherwise chordate so invertebrates are the organism which doesn't have vertebral column and vertebrates are the organism which have vertebral column so um, under this kingdom animalia uh, we are going to see only one one varieties under each type so on the invertebrate we are going to see about leech under vertebrate we are going to see about rabbit in this lesson in today's class i will explain you about the leech okay so you will understand the morphology as well as anatomy of the two organism there is leech and rabbit what is morphology morphology is a, a study of external structure that is outer outer structure which would, which would be uh, seen that is outer uh, structure is what we say it is external structure anatomy anatomy means internal structure if you cut open an organism whatever organs are present inside study about the organs which are present inside the organism only we say it is anatomy morphology external so about the morphology and anatomy of two animals leech and rabbit is what 
we are going to see in this lesson. Okay. First, we will see about leech. The taxonomic position. Phylum, Anilida. Class, Hirudinaria. Order, Nathogdelida. Genus, Hirudinaria. Species, Granulosa. The scientific name of uh, Indian cattle leech is Hirudinaria granulosa. So, you know very well the scientific name is given after the genus and the species. Isn't it? Genus and species only uh, gives the scientific name of an organism. So, based on that, the scientific name or zoological name of Indian cattle leech is Hirudinaria granulosa. What is that ma? Hirudinaria granulosa. Very important one word. Now let's see about the habit and habitat. So this uh, leech can be uh, found in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. Okay. And it, can, it lives in the freshwater ponds, lakes, swamps and slow streams. They are ectoparasite and what is ectoparasite? It is this organism leech externally lives over other animal but it does not kill that animal. It just live over that animal and suck the blood from that animal. Okay, That is ectoparasite means living outside of the host that is uh, it is living outside the body of the host that is ectoparasite so this leech is an ectoparasitic and it can feed on the blood of the host it may be a fish or frog or cattle or even human if it live over the other organism it just sucks the blood from that organism that is the food for leech it is sanguivorous in nature sanguivorous means what blood sucking it is a blood sucker uh, not only leech uh, mosquito flea or bug or rampant bag are some of the example for sanguivorous animal these animals will live over the body of other living organism and suck the blood that is the habit and habitat of uh, leech. And next let us see the external morphology. First, shape and size, coloration, segmentation, receptors and suckers we are going to see. First, shape and size. The body of the leech is soft vermiform. Vermiform means uh, it, the shape is like a worm elongated and segmented body parts are present so it has the body has got many segments over it it becomes ribbon shaped when extended and almost cylindrical when contracted it can contract and extend the body if it is extending the shape will be like ribbon and uh, when it is contracting the shape is cylindrical and its length, the length of the leech is about 35 centimeter. Also, this organism is hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite means having both male and female reproductive organ in the same body. That is why this leech is hermaphrodite. And next, coloration. The dorsal side of this leech is olive green and ventral surface is orange yellow or orange red in color. Dorsal means what? The upper side. Okay. Upper side or back of the animal. And ventral means underside that is lower side or the abdominal part is uh, in what color? Orange yellow or orange red in color. Upper side is dorsal. Upper side is olive green in color. And next segmentation 
segmentation the body part the all the body has got segments over it the metamerism is what we say it is segmentation so metamerism is the segmentation of the body it is divided into 33 segments how many segments 33 segments the segments are arranged one behind the other each segment has got subdivisions called rings or annuli so each segment is subdivided into rings or annuli the temporary clitellum is formed on the segment 9 to 11 so clitellum is what a thick glandular non-segmented section of the body non-segmented remember non-segmented section where it is present in 9 to 11 it is uh, near to the head it is near to the head of the leech and not only that this clitellum is a, a very special uh, organ for leech uh, it's not permanent it's just a temporary organ this organ can produce a cocoon to protect the fertilized egg called embryo so it produces a viscous sac there the fertilized eggs are stored and once the breeding season is over the clitellum organ is lost that's why i said you already this clitellum is not permanent it is just a temporary organ this will be there only during the breeding season okay and next coming to receptors receptors are nothing but the sensory projection okay we have sense organs no likewise this leech has got sensory projections over the body on the dorsal side already i told you dorsal is upper side on the dorsal side there are five pairs of eyes on the first five segments so first five segments have got eyes five pairs of eyes are there each segment bears a number of sensory projections called receptors so each segment is having many projections which are having receptors that is receivers receiving signals okay the annular receptors are located in each annulus and segmental receptors are located on the first annulus of each segment so already i told you there are 33 segments annulus is what subdivisions if you take one segment that segment itself has many subdivisions is what we say it is annulus so uh, this annular receptors are located where in each annulus and also the segmental receptors are located on the first annulus of each segment so i hope you understood and next let's see about the suckers it has two suckers the sucker located at the anterior end is called as anterior sucker or oral sucker and which is located in the ventral uh, sorry it is in ventral in position occupying the first five segments anterior suckers are present where in the first five segments likewise the posterior sucker is formed by the fusion of last seven segments so first five there is one sucker and last seven also there is a sucker so this leech has got suckers on both the sides upper as well as lower part see you can notice the posterior sucker as well as anterior sucker anterior sucker and in the top so it is occupying the first five segments posterior sucker at the bottom which is occupying the last seven segments okay and then suckers are used for what suckers are used for sucking the blood okay and uh, it is a sanguivorous animal so it sucks the blood next external apertures external apertures the external apertures are what mouth inners nephridopos male as well as female genital pore mouth it is located in the 
middle of anterior sucker i told you know anterior sucker on the top in that middle part mouth is present okay and uh, anus is a small aperture that opens on the middle dorsal side of 26th segment okay so in on in the where is this anus present 26th segment and next nephridophores this nephridia open to an exterior by 17th pair, 17 pairs of nephridophores how many pairs of nephridophores are present 17 it is lying in the last annulus of each segment starting from the number 6 to 22 it is present in last annulus of all the segments already i told you it has got Uh, both male and female organ present in the same organism so male as well as female genital pore are present and male pore is present where it is present in the mid ventral opening situated between second and third annulus of 10th segment so remember it is present in the 10th segment between second and third annulus i hope you remember annula that is annula is what subdivision of the segments likewise female genital pore is present in the mid ventrally between second and third annula of 11th segment so male is male organ male pore is present in the 10th segment between second and third annula only same way female is present in the 11th segment between the second and third annulus okay and next the structure shows you uh, the external morphology of leaf and the segmentation now is we'll see the divisions of the body the body of the uh, leaf is divided into six regions cephalic region preclitellar region clitellar region middle region caudal region posterior sucker cephalic region 1 to 5 segments preclitellar region 6 7 and 8th segment clitellar region 9th 10th and 11th segment middle region 12th and 22nd segment caudal region 23rd to 26th posterior sucker 27 to 33 so you must remember which segment has got what next next let us see about the body wall there are five layers there are five layers in the body wall cuticle epidermis dermis muscular layer and botryoidal tissue first cuticle cuticle is the outermost layer outermost layer is what we say it is cuticle okay and next epidermis the epidermis is lying just below the cuticle then third layer is dermis this dermis is lying below the epidermis okay this only forms the connective tissue outermost layer is cuticle next to that is epidermis and below that epidermis is dermis three layers i told you then below dermis there is muscular layer so this muscular layer is formed of circular and longitudinal muscles and the last one botryoidal tissue it is lying beneath the longitudinal muscles that is below the muscle layer this tissue is present and this only fills the entire celiac around the gut okay so gut is what a stomach okay yeah, this uh, tissue or what is it botryoidal tissue has form um, completely filling the entire celiac around the gut okay next locomotion there are two types of locomotion for the leech one is looping or crawling movement secondly swimming movement it can make two types of movement looping or crawling 
then swimming movement looping and crawling means what this is a type of movement brought about by contraction and relaxation of muscles okay so what is helping for the movement um two suckers are there no they serve for attachment during the movement on the substratum next swimming movement leeches swim very actively and perform undulating movement in the water digestive system digestive system includes a long alimentary canal and the digestive glands first alimentary canal digestive tract only we say it as alimentary canal so alimentary canal is a straight tube running from mouth to anus mouth is triradiate aperture situated in the middle of anterior sucker and leads into a small buccal cavity buccal cavity is the opening of the mouth see if you open your mouth there is a large space inside your mouth isn't it that is buccal cavity the wall of the buccal cavity has three jaws with single row of minute teeth okay the jaws are provided with papillae which bear the openings of the salivary gland mouth and buccal cavity occupy first five segments so in the alimentary canal what part is coming first mouth mouth and buccal cavity mouth and buccal cavity it is occupying the first five segments and next this buccal cavity leads into muscular pharynx so from the mouth next is buccal cavity then pharynx it is surrounded by salivary glands the secretion of saliva contains hirudin very important one word the saliva contains what hirudin which prevents the coagulation of the blood that means this hirudin never allows the blood to clot so for this coagulation hirudin is required and this pharynx leads into croup through a short and narrow esophagus next mm. okay the pharynx leads to esophagus which in turn leads to croup croup is a largest portion of the alimentary canal so in the animal alimentary canal which is the largest portion croup it is divided into series of 10 chambers this croup has how many chambers 10 chambers the chambers communicate with one another through a circular apertures surrounded by sphincters there are circular apertures surrounded by sphincters so sphincters are what uh, it's a circular muscle that normally maintains a constriction of natural uh, body passage if you ask <coughs> sorry if you ask whether human has uh, this sphincter turbans yes that only controls the release of urine as well as feces from the body likewise this uh, leech also contains this uh, sphincter where um, so it is surrounding the circular apertures a pair of lateral and backwardly directed ck arises as blind outgrowth from each chamber known as ceca or diverticula it is called as ceca or diverticula so it is directing where backwards okay and uh, the this croup and its diverticula can store large amount of blood which can be slowly digested it can suck large amount of blood from the host but all that blood can be stored up in the croup okay and uh, croup and its and this diverticula can store large amount of blood which can be slowly digested later and the last chamber of croup opens into stomach and the stomach leads into intestine which is small straight tube that opens into rectum and the rectum opens to an exterior by anus okay children this is about the digestive system and how does it uh, feed and digestion takes place for the leech the leech feeds by sucking the blood of the cattle and other uh, domestic animals 
so that's what we say it is host so from the host only this organism leech can suck the blood during feeding the leech attaches itself to the victim strongly by the posterior sucker already i told you there is posterior and anterior sucker it strongly fits its body to the host using the posterior sucker the leech makes a tri radiate or y shaped incision on the skin of the host it is making what shaped incision y shaped incision with that uh, y shaped incision only it is easy for the organism to suck the blood this y shaped incision in the skin of the host is made by the leech by the jaws protruded through the mouth the blood is sucked sucked by the muscular pharynx and when it is sucking the blood it will pour the saliva the salivary secretion by the leech is poured over the host that is the usage is the usage of this uh, salivary secretion is uh, making um an organism that is host to not feel to not have any sense of feel or otherwise it is a kind of anesthetic substance okay that uh, host will never uh, feel the pain for that it is responsible that's why it is producing such kind of um saliva okay and then uh, the the ingested blood is stored where in the croup croup chambers already i told you uh, it is the largest part isn't it okay uh, it will be stored up in the croup the blood passes from the croup into stomach the digestion takes place only in the stomach with the help of enzyme what enzyme protolytic enzyme with the help of enzyme digestion takes place the digested blood is then absorbed slowly by the intestine undigested food will be stored up in the rectum and finally it will be ejected out through the anus and this leech prevent the blood clotting by secreting a protein called heridin important one word heridin what is heridin the leech is preventing the blood clotting if the blood clots it cannot continuously suck the blood isn't it so blood clotting should not happen for that it is secreting a kind of protein called heridin also it is injecting anesthetic substance already i told you that prevent the host from feeling the bite such a way this leech is sucking the blood from the host that is a good meal for the um, leech okay but this leeches can suck blood five times more than their body weight five times more than their body weight and it is having two to 10 tiny eyes which help them to locate their food it is not having ear but it can sense a vibration because it is having many sensory uh, receptors over the skin isn't it so it can feel this uh, uh, vibration it may take more than a year for the complete digestion and absorption of a full meal okay so uh, that is the speciality of leech so today uh, we have seen uh, let me end up with this uh, we have seen about the indian cattle leech the scientific name of indian cattle leech is hirudinaria granulosa granulosa so we have seen about the habit and habitat external morphology of uh, leech as well as uh, the digestive system in detail have a great day children thank you